So based off the diagram we have here, we want to get an estimate of how wide the Mississippi River is. And what they did is they gave a uh, equation here. And you're going to use this to get an approximation of this, uh, which is what we need. And what we start off by doing here is what I did at least is right here. I found this angle. And what I did is I did um, tangent of theta. I'll just call it theta in this case. It's equal to 630 over 2070. Theta is equal to inverse tangent of 630 divided by 2070. And what I ended up getting is, um, give me a second here. Yeah, presto, I got 16.9275 degrees. And then, uh, since I have that, I know that down here, um, this is 90. And this right here is going to be 90 minus 16.92 which gives me um, 73 uh, angle A plus angle B is equal to 33, oops, 73.0724 degrees. Uh, now what happens is, since we know this, um, I know what B is, uh, that's that cotangent, inverse cotangent, so it's going to be 73.07 minus 33 point, or I keep goofing up here, 39 point, uh, what I have, come on, um, 39.3824 roughly. Uh, anyway, I end up with um, angle A is going to be equal to 33.69 degrees. And now I can find out the distance between this tower and our first, the tip of our boat, which is supposed to be the edge of the Mississippi. And then once I get that, I can subtract it from 2070 and I should get my answer. Now what happens next is I do sine of A is equal to, uh, well, it's not A, it's, we know what it is. It's 33.69 degrees is equal to, I'll make this little portion here, X, so it's going to be x over 630 feet. Actually, uh, this should be tangent then. Sorry about that. Because it's opposite over adjacent. Now what happens here is x is going to be equal to tangent of 33.69 degrees times 630 feet. x is going to be equal to... Maybe so I calculate that and I end up with my X value being equal to 419.9989 feet or just 420 feet. And then what I do uh, for my river width, I take 2070 minus 420 feet. And that gets me 1,650 feet. And that's it.